All right, these are some books that everybody should read. I'm gonna offer my commentary on them, plus add a few more additional ones, right? We have Letters from a Stoic. Now this in Meditations, Marcus Aurelius, probably go hand in hand. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I would also recommend anything by Epictetus. I believe it's the Manual and then The Art of Living, excellent one. There's one by Sharon, Le I think Libell. It's an interpretation of The Art of Living. One of my favorite books and most gifted books of all time. Very short, each page has got like a paragraph or two. I love that kind of stuff, but just wisdom that stands the test of time. Ben Franklin, there's a one by the one author that did Jobs, uh, Isaacson, yep, that one's good. And I've read two of them, I'm not sure who else did it. And I don't know if it was the autobiography or not, but they're very good. His story, habits, routines, funny things he did. The one story actually that he did that is worth it for everybody is he had a political rival and this guy just hated him. He didn't know him, but he just like always bad mouthed him, whatever, and he was trying to win him over. And so what he did is he learned that the guy had a rare book collection. Back in the day, books were a big deal. There weren't a lot of them, very expensive, okay? So what he did is he sent a letter to this guy and he said, may I trouble you to borrow this book for one day? I will return it in perfect order and I'll be forever grateful, whatever. The guy gladly gives him the book, borrows the book. He returns it with a, with a thank you note in a day. And the guy basically becomes his best friend forever. Atlas Shrugged is one of those books that you will think about the rest of your life. You will think about it in different stages too, that you'll have kind of different revelations and it'll just like pop into your mind because you'll see so many examples in society, especially the society we live in today. And the story and the characters, while they are exaggerated, are a very strong depiction of the idiocy of many modern humans. And the problem with government and state corruption, etc. So it's a book that you should probably read a couple times, but read it through. I read uh, it on Kindle and I also did the audiobook. The audiobook's pretty good because the narration is very well done. And so it's, it's quite long, but definitely get through it. It's one of those books that will help you wake up. When you wake up to see what the state is, what government is, and what it is not, you can never unsee that. These, they're truths that you can never unlearn. So it's just like for every man, especially that wants to make his way in the world with taxes being your single greatest expense your entire lifetime, you need to read that book. And then Mr. George Orwell, 1984, read it a long time ago, read it way before I had read Atlas Shrugged or I had my awakening, you could say, as it relates to politics and government. It's kind of in the middle weird. Like, honestly, it's kind of hard to get through. I got, I got lost a little bit in the middle I believe it was like the air interrogation scenes and it just got kind of a little funky, but definitely worth reading. Definitely probably worth reading again. And I didn't do the audio. I did it. I read it regularly. So I don't know if that's going to be any different. The thing about audiobooks is the narration and the characters and the voice actors, like they can kind of make or break a book for you, depending on your preferences. Like some narrators just destroy it. And some are done very well, like the Atlas Shrugged book that is very well. It's basically like voice actors versus just like a, a droning on voice. So it really depends on the narration for that. You might want to consider reading the regular text version. And then we have Odyssey by Homer. It's on my read list. It's in my Kindle. I just haven't got around to it. And so I don't know if anybody's got any comments or questions on that. Now, what isn't on this list that belongs on this list? Some other books on the list that aren't on the list, but should be uh, Outwitting the Devil, Napoleon Hill. It's a book that they released recently. He didn't want to release it during his lifetime because that was too controversial. Must read. Excellent book. The narration's excellent. Go on Audible. Get that. Sapiens, very good. Understand our ancestral past. The Story of the Human Body by Daniel Lieberman's very good as well. As Sex at Dawn, Sex 3.0, Civilized to Death. Those are some more books, more around relationship reproduction, our ancestral past, etc. Lord of the Rings trilogy, excellent. Hobbit, excellent. Probably will never be anything like that ever written again. Amazing, amazing stuff. Red Rising series, amazing. Named my firstborn after the main character. That's how good it is. Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. And all those early Master Key. In fact, the Master Key, or I think it's Master Key side or Master Key, whatever. That, excellent. Uh, Think and Grow Rich. How to Own Your Own Mind by Napoleon Hill. Freaking amazing book. You can get it for free on YouTube. Like, just as an audiobook, it's amazing, right? But all those early books that a lot of the self-help stuff, like Strange Secret, uh, Earl Nightingale, a lot of the, the self-help books of today are just basically regurgitating that stuff. So go back to the source material, complete and utter game changer. If you want to consider yourself a well-rounded human, you have to read some of the greatest works ever. You just do. And you might consider yourself not a reader or whatever, but I promise you, if you commit to it, 
and you get over that hurdle of building the habit and like getting into it, whatever, and maybe that's reading at night, maybe that's starting with fiction. That's actually how I got into it. I started with fiction and led me to everything else. Uh, maybe it's audiobooks while you're working out or driving. There are many, many ways to consume books today that there's no excuse to not find a method that works for you. You have to have the desire though. You have to want to read these books and you have to want to be the better person you're gonna be by filling your mind with the greatest ideas of our species. It doesn't immediately make you money or get you dates or whatever, but I promise you compound it over time. Reading is foundational for success. Relationships, money, business, fame, like social media, like whatever you're trying to do, reading is foundational. It will influence your life positively in more ways than we can fathom. And you will be a better person, period.